Looks like less than a single sheet of plywood to me. I guess this will work. Okay, so now I have this thing belt sanded um, rough enough to the point where I actually want to cut this out to the shape I'm going to make it. All right, so I'm going to try and make this into an ellipse. So here's my ellipse template, which is was a challenge to make without a CNC machine. I'm going to cut this out with a router with a trim bit. And my difficulty is, is when I cut this side here this is okay and when I get over here the way the router bit is spinning I want to get chip out on this edge so what I think I'm gonna try and do this time trim this out here go over and trim this out here and see if I could cut this side and this side upside down probably gonna end up getting a new bit this one looks like it was used to uh, mill out some nails or something yeah I don't know I should probably get a new bit
Man, I want to try rounding these edges over because I know it'll just look that much cooler, but <sighs> am I risking too much chip out if I do that? Decided to go with the smaller round over bit. There was a little bit of chip out. Just kind of filled it in and repaired. The, the side of this is so busy looking you don't notice it too bad. Well, here you go. Here is my real succulent plywood coffee table. Real succulents, Chris. Real ones. The base on this is um, the one I made and I had laying around. I used to make these. I will hopefully again at some point. Um, this whole project was kind of hard for me like emotionally because it was kind of hard for me to get back into this but I finished it and here it is and I hope you guys like it remember I did have a cute little kitty cat that has to count for something right